and say, I have reformed. I came in here as a fucking piece of shit, and now I don't have these piece of shit opinions, and I'm sorry for being a racist dipshit. Okay? Now, if you will then turn around and be like, it's just a joke, dude, relax, then I will ban you as well. Because I don't think you understand the severity. I mean, just because I make jokes doesn't mean that, like, I'm going to literally sit here and act like uh, white supremacist takes like this are even remotely acceptable in this community. It is not. I forgot to run an ad. I'm going to run it now. <sighs> Here's the ad break. Anyway, let's keep going. Right. Appreciate it. So you exit your vehicle, mm -hmm. right? Um, like you always do, and you're getting ready to walk in the store. Yeah. yeah. And what, what do you see from there? A uh, new placard on the front of the car. Because well, I have to walk by the car now. So you approach the vehicle? No, oh, front of the vehicle, yeah. Okay. Um, and your intentions on walking around the cars to look for placards? Always, yeah. Okay. What, what do you normally you know take pictures if there's, you know. Okay. You take pictures if you don't see no placards, or you right. take, okay. Where do you normally look for placards? Uh, license plate, uh, windshield, and the front. Okay. See if there's a front license plate or anything. Dude, this, yo, dude, this is like, this is the most annoying type of person. On top of being like a white supremacist uh, piece of shit, he's like also exhibiting the most annoying type of behavior, like, Dude, even cop families don't like cops that much. And this motherfucker is like literally tr a wannabe cop. He's like a LARPer acting like a cop when he's not even a cop. Like he's not even getting paid to be a fucking asshole. Literally a Nazi hall monitor, dude. Pathetic. Okay. When you approached the vehicle, was the driver, did you make eye contact with the driver? I couldn't see the driver. The windows were so dark. Okay. I didn't know anybody was in the car. Right. Truthfully. So her window wasn't rolled down? No. The no, driver's side? Time, no. Okay. So you start walking around the car? Yeah, I walked from the front to the back and then just back up again. And okay. I took no pictures. I just, you know, we sure. to go and keep going, you know, but then the window came down. He states that the altercation started once the driver rolled down her window, yet the surveillance says otherwise. The prosecution stated that the suspect spotted the driver through the windshield and engaged with her at this moment. The window then comes down at this moment. Anybody else want some? Go ahead. Go ahead. Justify a dude who started an altercation like this very clearly, very clearly, like... Even if you're a fucking Nazi, which I know that there are some of you in here that are like watching, looking for an opportunity. Maybe you can like fucking get a rise out of me on your 30th fucking sock account. Even if you're literally a Nazi and you're like, oh, it's pretty sick. Another black person was murdered. Like defend this guy on the grounds of how fucking annoying he's being like literally the worst kind of fucking person. Not only is he a racist piece of shit. But also on top of that, he's an annoying racist piece of shit. Like the type of person who walks up to a random fucking car and like starts instigating. Was the car running? I couldn't tell us, it mate. It's so quiet. Okay. These damn cars uh, don't sound anything like mine, which right. is like a 
Stop so then when you come back around, is the window rolled down at that point? No, or? only after I get back up in front and she uh, on my way into the store and she asks me, you know. So she rolls her window down? Yes, sir. For the record, this is uh, a very similar situation to Kyle Rittenhouse. And what I mean by that is Kyle Rittenhouse was also looking for a legal kill. In a nearly identical situation to this, he is instigating so he can get a legal kill. Which I'm not going to spoil, so uh, who knows. But not only did he start it, he knew that if he escalated to a certain degree, he could rely on his gun that speaks volumes on his attention, provoke and kill. Yes. These people will keep spamming. Sure, he shouldn't have pushed them. Do you make verbal contact with her first, or did she, she make verbal contact with me first? Well, I sir, explained what I did. I just asked me what I was doing, of course. Okay, and so she asked you what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Car? Yeah, I and said you said I'm looking for handicap placards. You know. Okay. And then it ensued with, well, what's that matter so, to you? Okay. And, uh, so when you when you when she rolls her window down, she says, uh, "Hey, you know, what are you doing?" How far are you away from the car? To the front of the car. Okay, so you're standing at the front? Yeah, about the front of the car, which is the, are you on the, the sidewalk, yeah. Okay, so you're on the sidewalk. Yeah, I'm not exactly in front of the car. I'm on the sidewalk at the front of the car. Okay. So after you start talking to her, do you approach the driver's side of the car? Yeah, just, uh, of course. I don't want to yell back. And right. Forth. That's, yeah. that's understandable. Yeah. So how far do you approach the vehicle? Um, distance was approximately God. you may be wondering why they're I just want to say it speaks volumes that the moment there's a fucking black uh, the moment there's a black victim I've had 60,000 people in here I've had 50,000 people in here and the first fucking time there's a black victim chat literally half of you motherfuckers lost your shit out of the new people it's crazy dude that's wild that like the moment the moment we watch a white guy murder the shit out of a fucking black dude and all of the fucking wild takes come flying out. It's weird, dude. Real fucking suspicious, dude. Like, people kept saying, like, weird shit, like, defending the murderer in a joking capacity when it came to, like, the girl, but, like, obviously, haha, lol. Like, I'd let her murder me, that sort of shit. But the moment that there's a black victim, the moment there's a black victim, you're like, oh, you shouldn't have pushed them. Should have fucking pushed them. Crazy. Wonder what it is. I wonder what the fuck it is, dude. asking such specific questions when the entire incident was captured on surveillance. Yet they are not asking for the purpose of gathering facts, they are asking to see if the suspect will amend the facts to fit with his own narrative. Anything he fabricates can be used- You don't have to defend the pushing? I really hope that this fucking idiot is, is worded this weirdly. That isn't an acceptable response by an adult bothering you or your response. Be a fucking adult and tell him to fuck off instead of initiating physically with someone. Yeah. 17 months sub. Maybe that'll happen to you too one day, okay? 17 months sub. Maybe you'll fucking uh, be in a situation like that. And you'll get fucking murdered in a similar capacity. And then everyone will turn around and be like, hey, maybe you shouldn't have tried to defend your fucking wife. Good take, dude. Some fucking random dude comes over to your car, harasses your fucking wife, circles like a goddamn shark, and then you come out, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? And you push him off. And then he claps you, and then some fucking dipshit who's been in here for 17 fucking months, his child's in the car. 17 fucking months, dude. Fuck you, you piece of shit.
used against him, especially during cross-examination to negate his credibility. It's, it's going to be, she's in the car. And it's, it's Let's see, I'm, I'm the driver. Okay. She can probably smell your breath. Yeah. Okay. After a while, it's not like I was leaning in her car or anything. Hopefully you can't smell my breath. Oh yeah, hopefully <laughs> So how, can you show me how far, let's say I'm her. How far do you come up to her? By the window. Okay, so a couple feet. Yeah, I'm not okay. going to encourage into her car. All right. So, you guys are bickering back and forth. Um, next thing you know, you get pushed. I'm blind. Pushed nothing. Tackled. I'm okay. blindsided, dude. Okay. I'm on the ground hard. So I know what that person's ban appeal is going to look like. I wasn't defending the person uh, getting murdered, obviously. I've been a 17-month member of this community. Clearly... Uh, I, I shouldn't have spoken out of turn like this in an emotional moment. I obviously was not trying to uh, defend the murder. I think that's horrible and wrong. I simply was stating that, like, uh, you know, the person should not have behaved in such an aggressive capacity. Like, let me just tell you right now. He's typing it literally right now. He stopped. I see it in the fucking chat. I see it in the fucking moderator chat. You motherfuckers, after I ban you, you go, Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have written that. Then don't fucking write it, dickhead. Why are you saying it? Maz, don't ban that piece of shit for at least a month, okay? He shoved you pretty good. No, he, I, for what it felt like is he come running at me. Okay. Like full, unban full Don't unban him like for at least a month. In my 20s. Okay. All right. So he shoves you to the ground. You fall to the ground. Correct. Okay. Slightly dazed. Not very. Slightly. Okay. Do you hit your head? Don't know. Don't feel anything. Okay. Don't know. So you don't know if you sideways like this. No, this landed under my under my gun. Okay. So I landed on my wrist on my gun. Okay. Had to reach over to extract my hand to push I yourself back. To push myself up off of that. And as I'm reaching and pulling around, he's standing in front of me. As I come up, he's taking a step towards me. Okay. Now let's discuss that. Um, if you don't mind, could you sit on the ground real quick for me? That's where I was. I don't want you to hurt it. No, 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 no. Okay. We do. So you're on the ground, right? I'm on the ground like this. Okay. How far is the guy away? Front of the car. He's at the front of the car? Front of the so car. So he's on that sidewalk kind of curb area. No, he's in front of the car, off the sidewalk. Okay, right on the edge. You got it. So how far do you think he's away from you? I might have been right at the edge of the back of the front door. Of the car? Correct. Okay. All right. All so he's, he's up, up by the front this. tires. He's up by the front tires. Now further than that, man. Further than this. Further than that, man. Okay. He was back further. About, he had to be further than that. Okay. So he's about this far, yeah. Or maybe yeah. even further. And as I come up this way, because I have to come up off my hand, all right, I bring the gun out with me. And as I'm coming back this way, it won't, I can't support it. So I hit this. Okay. And as what does he do? He, that's, as I come out like this, he's taking his step. Okay. Taking a step? Taking his steps towards me. Okay. So let's look at the footage. Don't defend, don't defend the pushing in this instance, bro. You fucking see some random fucking asshole harassing your wife when your kids are in the fucking car. You come out. And you push him, and you're gonna fucking be like, and he literally was armed. He didn't know that he was armed, but like. None of that justifies the public execution. I'm I'm defending the pushing in this instance as well. Motherfucker's threatening his wife, dude. And his children in this in this car. I'm literally defending the pushing in this instance. I'm sorry that he's such a goddamn pussy that he fucking buckled like a picnic table, like a plastic picnic table.
Okay? God, people are such fucking pieces of shit, dude. I'm straight up on board with the pushing. Funny thing is most likely uh, the chat defending the dude on the ground would have most likely pushed the dude too. No, they wouldn't have. They're fucking, they're, they're, they wouldn't have done that. They 100% wouldn't have done that. They would have fucking cowered in a goddamn corner. That's what they would have done. They are the dude with the gun, okay? That's why. Because they're fucking pussies themselves. That's the reality. Okay? That's why they go out and they fucking buy guns like this. And that's why they can see themselves in that situation. That's why they're fucking saying, like, oh, I wouldn't have pushed in this situation. You're in racist ass, you're in some fucking racist ass part of town. Some white dude is like circling around your fucking car and like screaming at your fucking wife. Like, you know the, the events that led to this situation. Dude, I, I really want, I wish this was a, a fucking situation where there was a white dude and another white dude. I really genuinely think the chat would have a different take on it. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I, I just confront your own fucking internalized points of view here a little bit. Like, if you have a problem with him shoving the dude, then you should have a problem with him. Well, obviously, you should have a problem with him murdering the other dude. But if you have a problem with him getting shoved, then why don't you have a problem with him fucking literally circling around the car and, like, harassing someone like this? Especially because, like, it's clear that he's looking for a fucking altercation that he can start so he can use his gun. And some of you fucking idiots are getting duped into believing that this is, like, accept well, not acceptable, but still, you're, like, giving, you're lending credence to his defense here by having that idiotic take. Now, there are also other aggravating circumstance, uh, aggravating information or aggravating circumstances that you are unaware of, uh, like the multiple instances where this dude has tried a similar thing and, and uh, you know, tried to fucking uh, uh, start altercations only to use their gun in a similar capacity. But even outside of that, like, you can't fucking do that. Like, you, you can't just roll up to a, to a family, harass them, and then when you get fucking pushed, pull out your gun and shoot them, okay? The suspect is shoved to the ground as he described. This is the moment he reaches for his gun. Marquise sees this and starts backing up. Sorry, I can't show you the rest of it, but you, I already played by played. Oh, they pause it. Never mind. I was fucking stupid. Did they show the shooting?
dude. Okay. De-escalation is on the side of the aggressor. Okay? You keep saying like, oh my god, why didn't the husband de-escalate the situation? He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He just sees a random fucking asshole literally harassing his wife. It's not like he fucking knocked him out. He pushed him. I assume he pushed him being like, whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing? And the dude flew the fuck back. He's in front of his children. He's defending his wife from some fucking asshole. I don't know if you didn't watch the rest of the video and you were unaware of like uh, what this dude was doing, circling around the car, yelling at the fucking wife. Marquise takes three and a half steps back and two and a half seconds go by. Draca then fires his weapon. How close does he get to you before you fire the gun? Maybe to the front tire. So show me where. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, so right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, was he charging after you? Two steps running. Okay. Well, he was. You're saying he was running? Well, it would have been running when he got out of behind the car. Okay. All right. I gotta get off. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you to hurt. So. Now, you what did you help? think, then, Mike? Say again. Buddy? What did you think when that happened? I've never been in that situation ever. I thought kicks were coming. Okay. So you thought he was going to... I thought kicks were coming, or at least he'd be on you top need, of you me. You need help? No, I got it. Okay. okay. Left arm's good. All right. So, you're thinking he's going to come kick you? I'm thinking he's coming to do the rest of it. Did you see him with a firearm? No, sir. I didn't see him with anything. Okay. What do you mean the rest of it? Whatever beating was coming after that. He just asserted that he thought kicks or a beating was coming. If he had spoken with a lawyer, he would have been advised to not only state, but put considerable emphasis on the fact that he believed that his life was in danger. He would have essentially been told to say that it was either his life or the attacker's, and that there wasn't a shred of doubt in his mind that he would have been killed had he not fired his weapon in self-defense. Even without the surveillance footage to refute his version of the altercation, these statements alone would be extremely damning in a court of law. So you thought he was going to beat you and stuff? You're not kidding. Okay. All right. So if he kind of hit me that hard to begin with from, from blindside from the get-go, what else should I expect? Okay. All right. So you're on the ground. You said he was running at you, but he only took like a step. He would have if he had cleared, to, you know, cleared that and come around towards me again with right. that second foot. Okay. That so he only, made, he only made one step. He barely made the step. This is why, and I'm not even kidding about this. This is why there's a literal fucking card with what to tell cops if you get a concealed carry permit in certain states. And that card also immediate that card has a lawyer's number on it that you call immediately after shooting someone. As John Oliver also talked about uh, recently. I think it was recently, right? Yeah. If you go to a concealed carry permit, uh, if you go get a concealed carry permit, they'll literally give you, they'll, they'll pitch you like insurance, basically. When you uh, use your gun, when you use your gun, like, make sure you have this insurance. You know, to give you that legal kill that you want. Remember that. Second step before I pulled the trigger. Okay. What kind of gun? No, I don't think he flew the fuck back on purpose okay. so he could get a legal kill. I think he aggressively started pursuing a, a black woman who he perceived to be like, you know, alone most likely. Thinking that he could, you know, either harass that person or maybe even get into a fucking situation uh, where there could be uh, a gun that he could pull out and use. He flew the fuck back because he's a pussy. 
with zero balance. And that's precisely why, um, that's precisely why he, uh, was, uh, that's precisely why he has a gun to begin with. Why do you think the guy's going to beat you? By the way, I'm no longer addressing, I'm no longer addressing, uh, things of just like banning people because, uh, like, I think people just want to get attention. But, uh, remember that you are pathetic and, uh, I'm not even going to show your name or anything like that. And I will never remember you. And probably your mother and father wishes they never remember you either. Nowhere. Why? What else would I think? That's precisely why you have no friends. If you're in this chat writing stuff like, you know, black people bad, that sort of thing. Okay. What did the female do at that point? The female just started screaming. Was she in the car or out of the car? Out of the car. Okay. She's she's screaming. That you just shot him, or I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, you just hear her screaming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm not paying attention to her anymore because I moved away from her. She's not a threat to me anymore. Okay. All right. Uh, let me ask you a question. You mentioned early that you asked Mustafa about video and stuff like that. Correct. That there were. Do you think the video would show him charging it or running? It running should. At you? Okay. There should be an angle right on that parking spot. Okay. What happens if I told you that I looked at the video and in no time and point does he come running up towards you? He actually takes a step back. I would disagree. Okay. I, I'm just asking. Yeah, okay. I would disagree in a heartbeat. Okay. All right. So you said after he runs in the store and stuff like that. Did you see me get hit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Where did you come from? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, where do you we'll come we'll from? Yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll we'll get into that. But did, did, she, did she, uh, she walks around the vehicle, does she go anywhere? Do you see her go anywhere? She went to the front of the store, she was inside for a while, then she got in and moved her car. Okay, so she came back outside the store? She did. Did you guys have any discussion? The only thing I said to her was somebody's trying to see if you've got keys for your children. Okay. Did, um, when the gentleman, before you fired the gun, did he make any threats towards you? I After never he heard a you? word. Okay. So he didn't say, I'm going to kick your ass? I never heard a word of anything. Let me, let's kind of back up because I'm, I'm just trying to understand. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before um, you, you shoot him, okay, um, and he, sh he had already shoved you, right? You said you thought he was going to come kick you and basically finish the job. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you hear him make any statements? Negative. He never made a word. Okay, until like I I'm fired. coming to... I'm never coming said to a word until I fired, but then uh, he never said a word when he dumped me either. Right. So you never said... What, what no, the hell, sir. Dude? Okay. So you guys don't have any type of... I barely even saw the man. No, I mean, after he oh, pushed no. you, you were on the ground. There's You're trying to get to your sidearm. No talks between us. Okay. At all. You don't ask him, what the hell, dude? No. Why'd you push me? No. Um, he doesn't make any statements. I'm going to come kick your ass? No. Negative. Okay. He didn't say a word to me. So he made no threats. That he For the record, spoiler alert, but he did make a statement. He didn't say, I'm going to come kick your ass. He said, stay the fuck away from my girl when he was walking up. gonna come finish his job was also what the fuck he's like literally giving him i'm losing my mind that like this cop is literally like anyway definitely okay so you just assumed he was gonna come do that uh any smart person would yeah, yeah I, I mean okay i get it i understand that so and then you shoot him um just one time correct one time sir okay um neutralize and then he just neutralize it. Neutralize, and then that's it. There's no reason to... Neutralize. What do you mean? Can you elaborate? What do you mean neutralize? Uh, neutralize the immediate threat. Okay. And then that's it. I don't... No reason to go overboard anyway. Sure. Chatters, is this the sheriff, by the way? If you know the... I don't want to... I don't want to spoil it, but is this the, the, the sheriff? If you know what I'm talking about, if you know the case, then you know what I'm referencing. Or is there another one? No, I mean, he is a sheriff, but is this the sheriff? 
Okay, I get it. And then he I runs shoot, in. I shoot to save my own ass, and that's that. Okay. Do you, do you understand that? I mean, do you, does it ever go through your mind that when you're going up and, and talking to these people and informing them of, of them being parked in a handicapped spot, that they might not take that right? That uh, this might go sideways a little bit? Well, sure, but that's why I take precautions as well. Like what? What kind of precautions? Bob very Gualtieri. I have a permit. He has just stated that he was fully aware beforehand that a serious altercation could have arisen from his actions, and then justified these actions on the grounds that he was carrying a weapon. He has essentially just tried to condone the provocation of a potential violent encounter because he was protected, showing no consideration for the safety and well-being of others. It could be argued that he gave no thought to the potential harm said provocation could cause anyone apart from himself. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what the other sheriff did. You'll see in a second. I'm sure they're going to they're going to mention it. Do you think you'd go knock on these people's or I shouldn't say knock on these people's. Yeah, doors. I don't you think you'd go confront them. anyone. Like right to their it's, face. It's, it's it's approaching. So we use the term approach instead of confront. Okay, but it is uh, up to the person who's in the car to actually if, confront. If you go up to somebody and approach them, they could take that as being confrontational. You can't uh, really interpret how they're going to make them confrontational. But if if you go up to somebody and you approach them about being parked in a handicapped spot, um do you think you'd be willing to do that and take that risk if you didn't take these precautions? Because I you don't know how people react. I've been carrying a gun most of my adult life, so I, I can't really answer that uh, in a way that would satisfy okay. you. Okay. Well, know I mean, would I mean? you approach these people if you didn't? Once again, I, I don't know. I would have to say, yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't know because, like I said, I. You always carry. Like, I've always carried firearms. Okay. Since how long? How long are you carrying it? Uh, I was 22. How old are you now? 48. Oh, they don't talk about the other sheriff? In this video? Okay, I'll tell you then. On July 20th, 2018, the day after the shooting, Sheriff Bob Gualtieri holds a press conference in which he announces that his agency will not charge Michael Dreshka for the shooting death of McLaughlin. At the press conference, uh, he walked through the events leading up to the shooting and revealed the surveillance video to the media. And he started by saying, I'm a big believer in this adage that just because you can doesn't mean you should. This case may be an example of that. Citing stand your ground laws in the state of Florida. Nonetheless, we don't build it, we just sail it. What I mean by that is, I don't make the law, I enforce the law. And Galtieri cited Florida Statute 776.032 and stated that his office was precluded from making an arrest due to Dreshka's claim of self-defense through Florida's stand-your-ground law. Do you motherfuckers think for even a moment that if a black man walked up to a white family outside of a fucking market, harassed them, Okay? And then when the white father fucking came over and said, get the fuck away from my wife and pushed him off, if he pulled out his fucking gun and that black man shot that white dude, if you think for a fucking moment that they would not have thrown the book at that motherfucker, you are delusional. Okay? And that's not a full-blown spoiler, but uh, I, you know, don't worry. That doesn't, uh, just keep watching. If, let's say on the video, uh, watch the video or whatever, and he, he doesn't approach you or make any steps towards you like you indicated. That's um, exactly what I saw, though. Okay, so you saw him come towards you? Yes, sir. Okay, what happens if he if he didn't come towards you, would you still Hell fire no. around? There's no reason to. If he's retreating, then I don't need to use my firearm. What if he's just standing still? I don't still don't need to use my firearm. He has just removed a potentially strong argument from a defense team. Upon reviewing the surveillance footage, the defense could have asserted that the defendant was still in considerable fear of his life, even though the suspect was retreating. This could have further asserted the argument that his actions were not the result of malignant anger, but rather the result of irrational fear. Did you see, when you saw this guy after he pushed you, did you see anything on his face? Did you see any facial expressions or anything? Negative. All no. I saw was a man trying to do me. What were his hands doing? Did you see that? I have no clue. Okay. Were you able to see him? Were you able to see the guy's hands? 
I didn't see his hands per se, and I didn't see his face at all. I okay. don't know what he looks like. Could you see his legs, his feet, anything like that? I might have seen his legs. I know he was a black guy, that's it. Okay. Maybe his arms, I'm not sure. Could you see anything that he was doing other than... Well, watching his feet, watching his hips. All right. So if he was standing still, you would have seen no reason to... No, sir. Trigger. Okay. If he hadn't twitched, I never would have pulled that Wait, trigger. When that Notice the difference, dude. I'm telling you. These fucking cops are literally feeding him outs, dude. And he's too fucking stupid to recognize it. Like... It's not about like, uh, it's not about being nice, by the way. It's not about like, you know, um, calming him down so that they can like catch him with a conviction. They're literally fucking feeding him out. And even then he's just like too much of a fucking idiot to, to respond appropriately. The gun was out. Did you make the decision to, to shoot when you pulled the gun out, or was Negative. that decision made afterwards? Negative decision I made as soon as he moved. Okay. Do you remember having time to think and process? Well, no time to think. But as soon as that it. gun was out, that the twitch goes. That's it. Okay. But you said you actually pulled the gun out before you made the decision to shoot, right? There's about. Well, I'm not pulling it out with the intention of pulling the trigger. Okay. Okay. Now, if I, I come up on target and it's. I need to shoot, I'm shooting. If you would have pulled that gun, between the time you pulled that gun, if you had been on your back and you pulled that gun and you had it on him, if he would have been standing still, do you think that trigger would have gotten pulled? No. Did you have time to really look at him and, and tell that he was coming towards you? The feet said he was coming towards me okay. and so did the hips. What kind of twitch was it? The, the hip twitch. Right foot comes around this way like he's going to come right past that car thing and that was that. How much time do you think it was between when you pulled that gun out and when you, I don't when you know. pulled the trigger? I don't know. How much time did it seem like to you? It I mean, seemed like a split second. Okay. All right, Michael. Uh I just want to remind you that this is the... I just want to remind you guys of what the sheriff said. They did this interview. They did this interview with him. They did this interrogation with him. And then they let him go. Just remember that they let him go. They did this interview. They have the footage. They know what the footage shows. They know he's lying in this interview. They know he's lying here because they saw the footage already. That's why I'm saying they're trying to give him an out. And they let him go. Um, we'll be right back. So... Uh, we spoke before on Detective Shields in the Sheriff's Office. Um, we're here to do a buckle swab, which is a swabbing of your cheeks. If you consent to it, uh, we're, we're going to go over a consent form here. These are our forensics technicians, uh, forensic specialists that work here at the Sheriff's Office. They don't believe that it's self-defense. They don't give a fuck, Chad. How do you not understand? They... They brought up only once. They asked him a question. Do you believe that the perpetrator was walking towards you? Do you believe that you were in fear of your safety? He said, yes. Why didn't they go, well, we saw in the footage. Why didn't they repeat over and over again? Well, we saw in the footage that he was walking backwards. We saw in the footage that he was walking backwards when you shot him. We saw in the footage that he was backing away when you shot him. <coughs> They asked it one time, dude. And they're going to get some overall stuff. Hi, Michael. If you just stand up right here, I'll just take some overall photographs of you. I'm just going to see where were your injuries. You, had one you can take the it. shirt. Yeah, you can take now, the this, is, this is basically it as far as noticeable injuries. Everything else is just muscular. They want him to lie to them, dude. They want him to talk. Dude, how many of these fucking interviews, uh, how many of these interrogations have we seen? They literally want you to, they want to catch you in a fucking lie, and then they literally call you out on it in the interrogation. What are you talking about, dude? On the inside. They already have it on camera. So the testimony is supposed to have that, uh, the part where he's like, uh, his, his, 
testimony is going to contradict the camera footage, but the detectives are not fucking bringing it up. What does that say in your tattoo? Or yeah, sheriff. This is sadness. You, uh, her, her, oh. her initials were SAD, minor, and MAD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Thank you, Michael. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, man. You good on water? No, the police. The police had the footage at this time. Stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I've been people were just here, so I've been. All right. Like we just want to talk to you, kind of uh, seal up a few things and go over a few more things. Is that all right? Just to go over, just kind of clarify things. Clarify away. So, in regards to. to the incident at the store um you had mentioned early on when i was talking to you about after he shoved you okay and you fell to the ground me nothing well it, i mean a shove is somebody standing in front of somebody pushing their arms out sorry okay. this felt like i was running out and tackled okay all right so after he tackles you or whatever in your in your words um you fall to the ground correct very correct. okay because i don't want to put words in your mouth um, and then, you know, you're, you're working on getting your firearm out because of what reason? I laid on it when I fell. Okay. But you're, you're working on trying to get your firearm out. I had to drag it out from under me. For what reason, though? If uh, you had just been blindsided with no idea who was attacking you, would your firearm be out next move you made? Probably so. I mean, I, I don't know. Exactly it's hard for me to, to make that. That's exactly It's an right. opinion. Okay. So, no, I don't think you thought so. that's a training. Okay. When you looked up and you see him, what what are you what's going through your mind? What's going through my mind is mm -hmm. is he coming back at me again? Okay. To do what? What what did you think he was going to do? I was thinking he's going to finish what the hell he just started. Okay. And and to you, like what do you what do you mean? Kind of elaborate a little bit on the finishing. I have no clue because he didn't do anything. Right. I can't elaborate on something I don't know about. Well, what do you think he was going to do? No clue. You, you fear for your life? You fear for your safety? Did you fear for your life? Did you fear for your safety? Again. That's okay. about it. What was what going on in your mind? Is just Did you feel like you were in fear? Your conjecture. Right. So did you think, think he was maybe going to get physical with you? Sure. Okay. In a fair fight, you think you can take him? Negative. I do not fight. Never have been a fighter. Never? Never. Like... Dude, people are so dense, dude. I'm sorry. If you are interrogating him right now to get a fucking confession out of him, you don't say, so what was, what was going on? Were you afraid for your life? Were you afraid for your safety? You'd say, why do you feel like you were afraid for your safety? If you felt like you were afraid of your life, why did you pull out your gun and shoot him while he was backing away? Like, you guys are fucking ridiculous. How many of these videos have we watched so far? And there's still motherfuckers in the chat like, oh, no, actually, they're, they're not. They're trying to get a confession out of him. They're trying to get a confession out of him. What are you talking about, dude? He's literally fucking coaching him to give the right answer, basically. He's, like, trying to get, like, a self-defense answer out of him so they can fucking... And by the way, I know I'm right because not only did they feed him this shit, but they also let him go. So you're wrong, like... I'm literally right. They let him go. They didn't charge him. Not disrespect, but you'd be a bad cop. Why would I be disrespected by that, my friend? I love that. Thank you. Why the fuck would I be... Uh, oh my god. I Thank you. That was a, literally a nice thing that you just told me. <laughs> fuck that, dude. I'm usually on your side, but they are not on his side. Dude, you are so insane. They let him walk. They let him walk. You are wrong. I am right. I fucking know details about this case that you clearly do not know. <laughs> they literally let him go. Do you want me to read the sheriff's statement again? After this interrogation, this interview is over, they let him leave.
you have to be careful questions like that it can be construed as leading the suspect by his lawyer they can only get one chance for the first interrogation they're doing a shit job on the whole though yeah they are they are leading him they're leading him to fucking get an out Ever. Right. I didn't even fight in school. These statements were used by the prosecution to further assert his lack of consideration for the safety and well-being of others. As he stated earlier, he was aware that his decision to approach the vehicle could have resulted in an altercation, potentially a violent one. Yet he has just confirmed that he has no hand to hand. I know he's in jail. I didn't want to fucking spoil it, okay? <laughs> but the, the very same people that it's not up to the, the, oh my god, this idiot is saying it's not up to detectives to fucking uh, grant bail or not. Dude, they didn't charge him with a crime! Yeah, I fucking spoiled it because people are so stupid. They let him go and they fucking, they literally let him go and they say, we can't charge him with a crime. It's not illegal to defend yourself, okay? There you go. I fucking spoiled it. He's in jail now. He's rotting in jail. Piece of shit. But it doesn't matter because they did this interview and then they fucking let him go. Hand fighting experience or training whatsoever. They had Meaning the footage. His boldness in the situation solely came from the fact that he was armed with a deadly weapon, thus making him highly inclined to using it when far less force would have sufficed. The prosecution essentially stated that he was willing to kill in order to prevent himself from getting moderately hurt in the situation that he initiated. I mean, what do you th finish the job? What do you mean? I'm just whatever trying. he started. I have no clue what he started and what his end game was. Right. Okay. I was in the dark about that. So that makes me believe to myself I need a force multiplier because I don't know what's going on. What do you mean a force multiplier? What is exactly that? what you know what a force multiplier is. No, sir, I don't. Right. If I did, I, <laughs> I, I don't. I really don't. Well, a force multiplier is a sidearm. Anything okay. other than your hand. Okay. All right. I got you. A stick. Some type of web force multiplier. Okay. You know terminology that we don't. <laughs> I, I, I learned it from. You do a lot of I learned it from. Account. Yeah, I, I seriously didn't know what that meant. Um, and, and I just want to tell you this. You know, it, just to let you know, the gentleman you shot is deceased. Thank you for telling. Nobody else would give me word on that. So. Um, I did ask. Okay. Uh, you got any questions for me or anything? Uh, other than the standard ground thing, man, I did exactly what I thought I was supposed to be doing at that time, considering what was happening to myself. No, sir, I don't think I have anything else to say. Okay. It's a plasma. All right, approximate time is about 2,200 hours. Interview will be concluded. Draco was released without charge as the investigation was ongoing, but was arrested 25 days later on August 13th and charged with a single count of manslaughter. During those 25 days- Bro, this video is ridiculous, dude. That's not what happened, dude. What the fuck? That's literally not what happened, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to tell you what actually happened. Okay. So, on the day, the day after the shooting, they let him go. They hold a press conference. As I mentioned already, the sheriff, Bob Galtieri, who's not here. This isn't that guy. There's another sheriff. What's your source? I mean, I literally covered this event at the time at the Young Turks. But right now I'm I'm going through the Wikipedia page on the in uh, on the like <laughs> the source is me motherfucker. You think you know everything? I covered the story.
Anyway. The sheriff stated Florida's stand your ground law and said that it, he was defending himself so we can't do anything. And the local state attorney's office is what actually charged him. On August 1st, 2018, Sheriff Galtieri announced that the investigation had been turned over to the state attorney, Bernie McCabe. McCabe said there was no time frame for how long it would take to complete the investigation. Um, this detective, I think, or one of the detectives, I don't know if this is George, but one of the detectives sent a request to the state attorney. Wait, Bernie McCabe? Hold on. Why, did, why do I remember that name? Oh, that guy recently died, but that's not the reason why I remember that name. Never mind. I was thinking of someone else. Um... So Bernie McCabe, the state, uh, the state attorney, uh, ends up charging him. And the George Maffet, one of the sheriffs, or one of the detectives, sorry, cited the three drivers who alleged that Dreshka threatened them with a gun in past incidents. Dreshka was formally charged with a single count of manslaughter on August 13th. So what did JCS get wrong? Uh, he made it seem like they, uh, like, he, not mentioning the fact that the sheriff, after this entire fucking investigation, uh, literally came out and said, like, we can't charge him at all because that's not what you said, though. No, I was thinking of Andrew McCabe, yes. Not mentioning the cops, letting him go, and, and also literally saying he did self-defense is incorrect. Going, but was arrested 25 days later on August 13th and charged with a... That's incredibly fucking important. That's an incredibly important detail to show, like, what the perspective of the fucking police department was at the time. Interview will be concluded. Draco was released without charge as the investigation was ongoing, but was arrested 25 days later on August. August 13th and charged with a single count of manslaughter. During those 25 days, Draco was named as the accused aggressor in four prior road incidents ranging from 2012 to 2018 where he threatened drivers with I guess a gun. This, this two might be were the male, who did two that were female, in the end. including a young mother with two children in the car. He was interviewed by WTSP 18 days after his arrest. I just want you to tell me about yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty much your normal, average, everyday person uh, with average problems, I would suppose. Right. Uh, I don't know what everybody else's problems are, but, uh, right. you know, we've got, I've got money troubles, you know, we've got uh, uh, moving troubles. Right. But uh, other than that, everything. Right. Take me back to, I'm going to call it that day. What kind of morning did you have july 19th but were you working were you walking the dogs were you i don't think this is really the right place to go into specifics about that day well i, I wasn't talking about the actual incident of the shooting i'm just saying what your day was like cup of coffee what? normal every day day really nothing that you saw the wife off to work yeah nothing too surprising out of any of it um, mm -hmm. everybody involved with this case a lot of people involved with this case have spoken up. Mm -hmm. The sheriff has spoken out. The prosecution has spoken out. Uh, the McLaughlins have spoken out. 
Al Sharpton has spoken out, and we felt that it was necessary to hear from the person at the center of this case. The McLaughlins have been very, very hard and descriptive about you as a person. Is there? I wonder why, dude. That's crazy. I wonder why the family of the victim were very aggressive. When describing the, the fucking murderer who murked uh, one of their own. There's something, is there something that you could say to them that might give some clarity about who you are or how you feel? I really don't think this is the right place to, to talk to the family directly. Right. How many dogs do you have? Two. And what kind are they? German Shepherd. All right. It's Defense would argue display of humanity and compassion. Prosecution would argue self pity and appeal for something. Seems sympathy. like this is striking a chord with you. Do you? Yeah, I don't. Miss my girls. Miss my girls. Mm. It's all, all of them. Yeah. Is there anything in your mind that would? change now that you have a chance to look back is there anything you would change with what happened how it happened is there anything that you would change or i'm sure you had time to think about this uh sure I, i've had plenty of time to think about it but as far as changing anything as events right. is what you're right. I, I don't see i really did no not off the top of my head okay People that have come down to speak about the events mm -hmm. and things of that nature, and they get the feeling that... Wait. Does he have, like, human daughters? Or was he actually referencing his uh, two dogs that he misses as he teared up? Wait, 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 wait. He murdered a dude with children. And when asked that question, he has no remorse or nothing like that. And the first moment that he fucking tears up is when he's thinking about his own... He's thinking about his own dogs and how they must miss him? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Bro, this is literally like, he has real human children too? Okay, maybe he's talking about his own daughters then. I don't know. There might be a racial overtone to this incident. No, there's almost no way of that. Uh, number one, uh, my, my upbringing really right. prevents that from coming out of me ever. Uh, to, my parents weren't that way. Oh, come on, dude! That's like when Donald Trump says, I'm the least racist in this room. I mean, everybody's a little racist, but I'm the least. I'm less racist than everyone else. My upbringing prevents that from coming out of me, dude. What the fuck? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Motherfucker couldn't even say I'm not racist. Like, at least... You know, most, most white people when asked this question will say like, I'm colorblind. Like, or some shit like that. That's not even a self-report. He just admitted that he's racist. He just like, uh, you know, hides his urges. Which is kind of wild because then it's like, you know, then maybe you weren't able to hide your urges when you were fucking, you know, badgering and harassing a black woman in a parking lot and then murdered his husband. <laughs> 